Okay, so anatomy of skin. So let's see if I can even draw a cube. So you guys help me label the skin cube. Yeah, so we'll just review last time just to... So epidermis, where is that found? The outer layer. Yeah, and so down here you're going to find fatty tissue, and below that fatty tissue, what other things are down there? So you're going to eventually get to bone and muscle, right? Okay, I'll add those. So I'll just say, so attached to muscle, you'll find ligaments. So here's some muscle down here underneath, so if you go deep down under your skin, you're going to find this stuff. Okay, so so those are the two main layers you guys got, so that's good. So I already missed something before oil gland. Somebody said started on something. Hair follicles. So let's add some let's add some hair. What's that? So which part, which part is the shaft, did you say? Yes, so the hair. So the follicle is kind of this tube-like structure underneath here, okay? So down here, under the skin, is where you're going to find the follicle, okay? Under the epidermis into the dermis. So that's where you're going to find the follicle. All right, so there are things attached to the follicle. <laughs> so there's these things attached to the follicle. Oil glands, that's right. Are you making fun of my drawing? No. <laughs> oh, she's drawing and not doing a good job. So attached to the hair, so what's the purpose of those oil glands? Moisturize. Yes. Moisturize. Okay, so what are we missing? Brenda, sweat glands. So where do we find those glands? What layer are they? So what part of the sweat glands on top? The opening. So the pores. So we have sweat gland pores up here in the opening. Sebaceous gland is here. I have oil gland attached to the follicle. What's wrong? Is there a question? <laughs> the oil glands are kind of attached to the hair, fo the hair follicle, right? So then attached to the pores, you have your oil glands, or sorry, your sweat glands. <laughs> sorry. So your sweat glands come out these pores, right? Why are the colors so terrible? So our sweat comes out here. There's some sweat. <laughs> okay, so that's your sweat gland. Okay, what did you guys say? So nerve endings. So where do we find nerve? Yeah. 
Yeah, so it'll start in here. So some of them will be up here. Some different receptors could be down further, but... Guys, I just have to pay attention to my drawing. <laughs> <laughs> Look how bad you made me do it. <laughs> so nerve sensation. So you guys are right. You guys are saying like there's all kinds of different receptors for sensation. So some will feel pain, some will be pressure, some will be cold or hot. So there are all kinds of different. We don't need to know the names for all those, but knowing there's all kinds of different sensors in there. So we might talk about them a little bit more when we get to the nervous system and the sensory system. So, um, But that's one of the functions of skin, right? Sensation. So that's a big one. What are we missing? Pigment. Where, are we, where is pigment going to hang out? It's kind of below the epidermis here. So... There's just a layer of pigment here. It's kind of hard. Yes. The very outer layer doesn't really have much color to it. It's that pigment layer right beneath there that gives our skin its color. Yeah. Let me just. So let's. I'll just box the two main layers here. So what else are we missing? I think that looks pretty good. But there are blood vessels, so all of our tissues are going to have a blood supply, so. What? <coughs> yep. I'm recording myself talking too, but it won't be very interesting, but you can listen to me talk about it. <laughs> Okay, is that good? Any questions about that? So really it's practicing. So even um, if you do a drawing and make yourself little flashcards or something, figure out something that works for you if you really struggle with labeling anatomy. We'll do that a lot this semester, so. Alright, so I'll, I'll just write, you guys help me with the four main functions of the skin. Try to not look at your, your sheet. Yes. Protection. So like storage, I said, so keeps water in and stores it, right? I just met someone said another one though. What was I sensation? And yes, it does. Protection. Yep. And helps with temperature regulation. How does it help with temperature regulation? So sweating. Yes. And how else does it help with temperature? So it allows for sweating and evaporation. It does insulate, you're right. Yeah, so the blood vessels that are within the skin will dilate. So that was one that you guys got confused from on the test. So when blood vessels dilate, they get bigger. And so by getting bigger, they're going to let off more heat because there's more blood closer to the surface. So when you, you're hot, you get red in the face, right? And that's because our blood vessels are dilating and getting bigger and letting more blood flow through those vessels so it will give off more heat. 
Okay. You guys want a picture of the nail? Of the nail. Nails grossed it out. <laughs> different pieces. So the nail. I I'll ad I'll admit that underneath um, nail stuff, I'm not a fan of. My husband will tell the story of when he was messing around. Maybe I already told you the story. <laughs> he was messing around dancing, and he he was wearing flip flops and slid off of a uh, a curb and took his baby toenail off with it, and he came to the car, he's like, oh no, I got my toenails ripped off. I'm like, good, you look after that. Like, I'm not, he, so he'll tell the story of how his nurse wife is completely useless with, and here's the thing, in the car beside us, there was a VON nurse who gave him a Band-Aid and helped him out. So I looked especially bad. Yeah, well, I was off the clock. He wasn't paying me, so. <laughs> and I've assisted in, like, toenail removals and stuff. So I'll help you. Everything's set up or whatever. And But then when they're actually taking it off, I'm like, <laughs> not interested. Not interested. All right, help me label. The lunula. Isn't that a nice word? Lunula. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> so that's that white, and they say if you can't see that white circle, my daughter just told me this, if you can't see the white circle, you're more intelligent. So who's the smarty pants? <laughs> my daughter just told me that. <laughs> So cuticle, cuticle is this bit of skin here at the base. The free edge, the free edge, yep. Yep. Where's all the bacteria? It's her flora, she's used to it. <laughs> Until she touches a handle with influenza on it. And I know, I know a lot of people have like it. So what else are we missing, anything? The nail bed, so underneath. Yes. Under the body is the nail bed. So under here is the nail root, you're right. I think you got everything. Are we missing anything? So nail root is under the skin. Um, the nail bed is underneath the nail itself. Yeah. So under the body is the nail bed. Yeah, so inside your finger, you're, you're going to have bone there too. So that's, yeah, inside. Okay.